behold, Nick has made a friend. So you knew Jeff? It's his first friend in 20 years. I'm so lonely. So, if you've watched any of my stuff before, you might realize right now that there's a bit of a change in scenery right now. I'm not back in my old house in Aurora, and I'm not in my dorm room anymore, because my friends and I have a house of our own that I have just moved into, and I am incredibly excited about it, and this is where I'm going to be for about two years. So I'm just really freaking excited right now. I'm kind of exploding on the inside with this weird mixture of, yes, incredible freedom, and also crushing adult responsibility, but you know, that's fine, I'll get over that. However, as I've been moving into my new house, the area where it's located is surrounded by a very peculiar natural event. This year, Ohio's experiencing an incredible thing, which is the 17-year cicada explosion. Nature's gross and beautiful, just like we are. Pretty much all the woods around my house are exploding with buzzing sounds right now because cicadas have spent the last 17 years underground sucking tree roots and now they've come up and they have exploded out of their shells, sprouted wings, and are flying around trying to make babies. And they're not going to be here long because cicadas are one of those bugs who once they grow into their adult form they don't have mouths anymore so they're just going to die in about two weeks. Look at, look at them all. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, you didn't even realize oh they're everywhere. Ugh. It's not even mulch! It's just, this is it's them! It's 50% cicada! Ah! Oh my god! This is horrifying! If there's any cicadas watching this, avert your eyes now! Run! But until then, we're just listening to their song, and they can get loud. I mean, they can get louder than a rock concert. I am now attempting to make the cicadas believe I am one of them! They are responding well! So of course I went around and messed with them, because what else are you going to do when you have a bunch of buzzing bugs around that barely know how to fly and they just kind of run into walls? We go with a couple sports. Here we see Jeff the Cicada and Living. his partner, Nick. Nick has been warming up his cicada flinging technique for the last three and a half years. And now we see if he can get the gold for America. Nick lines up his shot with Jeff. And... The shot! Jeff did not make it very far. Jeff is dead! <laughs> <laughs> Had a few fun times just with the amount of numbers that are out there because they are on every tree. They are on every tree. You've heard of piñatas. Now you're ready for cicada tree. The trees are screaming. It kind of sounds like one of those like rainmakers. Yeah. I hear them right now outside my window. All right. And this is called a fire drill. Ding, 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 ding. Ah! Still some on there. They're so resilient. They come right back. Oh, God. This is my thing. Well, these things have been underground for 17 years, so it got me wondering what advantage do cicadas have for being subterranean for 17 years before exploding out and having a giant... This is a cicada's favorite tree. These two are banging. But that thing on the hub, they love it for about two weeks before they all die off and a beautiful life cycle begins over again. Well, it turns out this is actually a way to avoid predators for them. See, the birds are loving this. Every bird out in Athens right now is stuffing its belly with every kind of cicada. It's, it's, it would be like if pizzas were just flying around and you could just grab one and eat it. Unless you don't like pizza like someone I know. So the way the 17 year cycle helps cicadas is due to predatory life cycle growth. But Sam, what's predatory life cycle growth? I'm glad you asked me. So in nature, when one species has access to a lot of food, it will give birth to a lot of babies. Imagine a year where there are a lot of worms. The birds will be able to have more babies that year. That means that once all those birds are grown up next year, all of the hawks will have plenty of birds to eat, which means they will have a lot of babies, which means the worms get to have a year where they have a lot of worm babies, and it all goes over again. Apparently the safest years for the cicadas to come out, and I don't know how they calculated this, but the safest cycle is for cicadas to come out every 13 or 17 years. Yeah, they don't care. It just doesn't care. Look at those passive things. That's it. Nope, no, he's just accepted it. And I think it's something like once every five cycles, the cicadas will come out at the same time that there's an apex cycle for one of their predators. So overall, they get to have a lot of babies a lot of cycles in a row. 
and that's why they're underground for most of their lives. But if you're scared of bugs, it's like a nightmare. See, crikey! Here we see the old shells of the cicadas. Now you can see, this used to be their form when they were under the ground, sucking the nutrients out of roots. But now, much like a freshman college student, leaving their mother's room for the very first time, they break out of their shells, spread wings, and bumble around with no direction in life, looking for things to have sex with. And then you realize that they're just a bunch of flying dorks that just smack into you because they don't know better. They've been underground for 17 years, and then they're thrust into adulthood, and they have wings now, and they don't know what to do. You know, so in a weird way, I kind of relate to them. Huh. They leave their homes, have new responsibilities, and they're adults now. Friend! Ah, well, he, he does love me! He does! <laughs> So even if you don't like creepy crawly things, and even if the cicadas gross you out, I still recommend hanging out and enjoying the show that nature's putting on for you. This only happens once every 17 years. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you later. Bye! But yes! The cicada harvest is growing in Western That's a good year. crop, sir! That's a good <laughs> harvest! Yes! Like my organs will be when the zombies come! Finally! Isn't nature fantastic? Yeah, you know, I'm not even grossed out by cicadas anymore. After a few weeks of living down here, I'm just used to them. I'm almost sad they're gonna be gone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit from this and got a couple laughs out of it if I was funny at all. If you like this video and you wanna hear me talk a little bit more about bugs, you can click right here on the left side of the screen to check out a video I made on giant bugs in movies and video games. I threw in a couple science facts in that one too. If you wanna see more of me and my roommate Nick, you can click right on the top right of the screen to see music video that we made together. And if you want to see that friend of mine who doesn't like pizza, you can click on the bottom right side of the screen to see Nina and I make some crafts. And if you want to be alerted every time I make a new video, click the subscribe button. And I will see you later. Thank you again very much for watching. Bye!